name's Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealership in Florida, number three in the whole United States of America. All we do all day, every day are Class B vans, van campers, van life, van, whatever you want to call it. That's what we do. That's what we specialize in. I bet you're wondering why I have this big piece of hardware in front of me. They could not make it into a necklace for me fast enough, but this is the Flying W Award. We earned this award for having the best customer service out of all the Winnebago dealerships in the country. Only about 10% of Winnebago dealers get it. You have to do good with sales, service, a service after the sale. You have to do, there's like a million different things you have to reach to get this award. And there's only two in the whole state of Florida. The country, there's only a handful. We are one of them. And this is a 2024 Winnebago Travado. You're wondering why I was holding this. This is the Winnebago Award. This is the Winnebago Travado. So this is a 2024 Winnebago Travado 59K. So the K is the rear bath floor plan. This is on the brand new ProMaster chassis, the 2023 chassis, 2024 van. It has all the safety features, all the new technology, all the new luxury, everything that Winnebago has put into a Class B this is their flagship. This is their high end. This is the one that put them on the map when it comes to class BRVs and they're still making the exact same one today. So Winnebago is a great company. They make a great van. Obviously Sunshine State RVs is great. We won the Flying W Award. So check out this video. You're going to love it. This is all about the Travato 59K. We're going to get all up into it right now. Okay, so we're going to walk around the outside of the van. What's really cool you're going to notice is it's a granite gray color. I like this color. Um, I really like how Winnebago paints everything on the van. Um, you know, this is a ProMaster, so it comes like the Amazon vans come, or your plumber shows up at your house in a ProMaster van. So it comes with a lot of plastic cladding and a lot of things that make it look like a cargo van. But Winnebago does a lot of cool things to make it look luxurious and to make it look like a nice van. So they start off by painting all of the cladding and adding these nice big running boards. So I really like how big and beefy the running boards are. Um, they give you these upgraded alloy wheels. So they're silver and black. They have a really cool two-tone to them. It's not just your typical cargo van wheel. I mean, this is a nice upgraded alloy wheel. So as we're walking around the front, they also paint the bumper. So I like how the bumper matches the body. If you look at some of these other ones, like pull over here, and you can see some of these other Class Bs have like a clat, like a plastic cladded bumper. I really like, and actually these are Winnebago's also. That's the Adventure Wagon. That's the Solus. I really like on the Travato because it is their higher end uh, Pro Master model. I like how they paint everything on it to match the whole thing. It's just that step above everything else. Something you will notice about the new chassis. So this is the 2023 chassis. So this has all of the new upgrades or the new headlights. So the new headlights are a lot sleeker, fancier looking than the old headlights. And I can kind of show you a comparison right here. So if you look at the Winnebago there on the right, that has the new headlights. If you look at the Winnebago on the left, that has the older, more what I call the classic style headlights. The front grille is different. The fog lights are a little different. So the whole front end of those two units are different. The one we're going through today is the newest, the latest, the greatest headlights, front grille, body styling that Winnebago is offering. So as we're coming, you see we have the nice big ram on the front. This does have like a European look to it. There are fog lights, high performance LED lights. And then as, as you're kind of walking around the coach, you'll see Winnebago puts these running boards everywhere. So I like the running boards because they do help you get in and out of the van and they do hide these little W's everywhere. You know, they, they put little W's on all the running boards and all through the coach, you'll find little W's kind of uh, placed all the way through the RV. It's almost like a Where's Waldo game. You gotta find them and you don't get points or anything, but you just find them and people like them. So as we're walking through here, this is the 30 amp plug, the service. So there is a plug inside. You stick it here and then you twist it on. Uh, with the plug being twisted on there, it will light up when you have power on the plug. And it's really nice because 
um, once it's twisted in there it is locked and you can't just pull it out you know something really cool that we do at sunshine state rvs is we teach you how to use your rv that you buy from us so no matter where you are in the country we fly you in we rent you a car and we have you drive in or we pay for your airfare to come here once you come here and you decide this is the winnebago for you we then have a technician teach you how to use everything on the van and one of the important things he's going to tell you one of the most important things is when you plug into here really get a good tight connection get a good screw on there because when the plug is connected to these here you don't want them arcing so you want them to be really connected if they're not connected they're not going to be touching and so the electricity will be arcing back and forth and that causes a fire it causes inconsistent power into your coach and it's just a really really bad thing so that's something that our technician in the walkthrough is going to teach you we've had people who have owned 20 rvs in their life they come in they get a walkthrough from corey one of our technicians they say that's the single best most thorough walkthrough i've ever gotten out of all 20 rvs i've owned in my life i promise people have said that so pretty crazy you know when you really pay attention to what you do like we we are intentional about being the best it's funny how all that stuff happens but if you're intentional about just wanting to sell a lot of rvs i'm sure that will happen as well but we want to be the best we want to be the best class b dealer the best in service the best in everything we do that's our goal is to take care of our customers so by something as small as the plug so here's your 30 amp service as you're walking this is your propane fill right here so this is where you would pull up and you would fill the propane tank right here you don't actually do that yourself the propane place where you go will fill it for you you don't take it out you don't have to it's not the old flash ones where you're, where you're lugging these big old propane tanks around it's all right there they come out with the hose they put it there they fill it and then they go away so it it does make life easy having it there this is the where you store your hose so you're going to store it is going to be in here so the sewer hose is going to be stored in there we give you a brand new sewer hose when you buy an rv from us we give you a whole starter kit and it has a hose it has extensions it has adapters it has rv toilet paper during the pandemic when there was no toilet paper anywhere we had the monopoly on rv toilet paper because we buy these things 100 cases at a time and we had a lifetime supply of rv toilet paper it was very cool how much we had but we give you rv toilet paper when you buy an rv from us we give you everything you need to camp and then something else that's cool that we do is we put you up at a campground for the first two nights at a local campground so that way if you have any issues anything you need you are five minutes from us here so you're camping something breaks you don't remember how to work it we are i mean right there you come right back the next morning we take care of it immediately so we want you to know that when you leave florida that your rv is working 100 percent and you know how to work your rv 100 percent both of those things are equally as important and we make sure it happens so as we're walking you got your your power cord you got your propane fill you got your sewer hose carrier what you will do is grab your sewer hose from there you would then walk it right here so you put your sewer hose on here and then you hook it right into the ground where you're going to dump it so very easy very nice this is the only tank so that is the black and gray tank they both feed into the same tank and it's right there this little miniature exhaust is for the generator so this travato has an onan generator it is the brand new ultra quiet generator uh the generator is national park approved it is so quiet you cannot hear it when it is on so before you were never allowed to use a generator in a national park now these new onans have been approved because of their decibel um because the noise that they put off they are approved to be used in national parks you know winnebago does offer what they call a kl which is the same thing as this just with the lithium pack and so the lithium replaces the generator and gives you an underhood generator it gives you a ton of lithium um it already comes with solar it gives you a little bit bigger of an inverter and you can use everything in the coach on lithium versus on this one everything is powered by the generator we will talk more about that as we get inside the coach so this is the back of it so you have a nice big ladder you have a bike rack you can put two bikes on here um, this is the k model so the k model is known for being the rear bath and so we will touch on some of this right now 
Um, this is the rear bath. It is a nice big bathroom in the rear of the coach. Bigger guys like me um, like the rear bath because it's a little bigger. It's a little more open, a little bigger. You, it's not as claustrophobic as a side or a, what they call a mid bath. So in this bathroom, there's lots of room. I am six foot tall, 234 pounds today. Lost a few pounds. I'm uh, really, when we do our company lunches yesterday and they have Italian food, I have to watch all of my coworkers eat Italian food and I eat salad. It's not fair. It is not fair, but you know what? I'm gonna be healthier for it. I got four kids, I need to be alive for them. Um, what I like about this is there's big drawers here. So you got a big drawer here. You have a lot of storage. You got shelves in there. You also have a um, wardrobe bar there. So you can hang shirts up. You can hang things from there. Um, I like all the space in here. If you wanna leave it open, you can. You just wanna use a curtain like this. You can do that. But also, they give you a door, so if you need real privacy, you can shut the door. So, lots of cool options. You're probably camping with somebody you know very well. Not that you want to use the bathroom in front of them, but, you know, a lot of times, this curtain is probably going to be enough. You don't need the door, um, but it's, it's a total preference. Um, there is a fan in here. There is a light in here. There is a shower uh, we don't normally cover the inside of the van this early, so you guys are getting a nice sneak peek of this Travato K. There is a, a shower that has hot and cold water, and which is nice, you have a medicine cabinet. So this medicine cabinet opens, and you can put stuff in it. You can store stuff there. This is a sink where you wash your hands, you can brush your teeth, you spit it out, and the drain is actually behind the sink here, so there's a drain back in there that everything kind of flows out into the drain. This is all meant to get wet. This is like a duo form plastic material. And then when it's out of the way, it's out of the way. This thing here is if you're using the bathroom and some animal comes up, you can squirt them and you can keep them away. So this is very handy if you're camping with your doors open and you're using the bathroom and you're enjoying, you know, when nature calls, you can see nature, you like that? Nature's calling, you can see nature, you can keep them away, no, I'm joking. Um, this is to clean the toilet, it might be a bidet, but it, it is, so that way when you're done, you can clean the toilet out. I think it's pretty handy. Not a lot of class B's have that in it, so I really like that as well. Um, but this is a very unique bathroom area. I really like this, the size in here. I'm a big dude and I can walk, I can do things. If I'm shaving, I'm sitting here, I'm shaving. Lots of light, big mirror brushing my teeth, doing my little bit of hair that I have, whatever it is, you can do a lot of it in this space because you have room. You know, some of the other ones are a little tighter. This gives you lots. I can see why this is one of the best selling class B's on the market. Lots of space in this bathroom here. So I really like it a lot. Okay, so in the rear bathroom, there's not just a bathroom, but there's also your all of your plumbing is right here so winnebago has done something that nobody else has done they have taken all of the plumbing all of the water fixtures all of the outside shower your water hookups your water fills and put it inside the coach and so a lot of people are like why would they do that so there's a very good answer to it the reason they do it is there's two answers. One is to keep all of the outlets from outside the coach. They want it inside um, because it doesn't, you know, it makes it look less like an RV having all these plugs and outlets everywhere. The other, the real reason is because it makes it a four seasons coach. So this helps when you're in freezing cold weather, all of your water stuff is inside the coach where your coach is insulated and heated and on and all that. It's not outside to where there's, there's points of freezing. So, this is an outside shower here. Let's see what we got in here. So here is the shower thing. Well, the shower thing, you like my official, this, that's the official name for this is a shower thing. This is the shower hose. So what you would do here is you would hook it in there and then now you have hot and cold water that can come out of here. So this can be used for a lot of different things. You can use this to take a shower, obviously. You can use it to wash your feet. You can use it to wash things out here if you have a dog. And so when you want to clean your dog, you don't want to clean your dog inside the coach. You probably want to have the dog out here and you hose the dog off and clean the dog outside the coach. So this is great for that. Hot water, cold water, warm water. Something else that Winnebago does, and I haven't seen anybody else do this yet. Check this out. So they give you these two black sticks, multiple things. There again, if you need to fight away creatures, 
when you're camping, you have two black sticks. But if you don't need to fight away creatures while you're camping, you can use this. And this is a, what they call an annex. It's kind of a fancy word, I think. I don't know if I'd call it an annex. I think, to me, it's more of a shower extension. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. There it is, there. It's, oh, there we go. This is more of a shower extension. So you hook both of these in, and then they give you a curtain to put here. And then the curtain goes, and now you have a big area. So you hang the curtain from here. Let's see what this curtain is. Uh, there it is, maybe? No? Here it is. So we have a curtain here. So this curtain right here hangs from here just like this. There's a more official way to do it. But look at this thing. So so it's Velcro strap like this. You know how the like that and like that. And so the curtain hangs. When the curtain is hung, you can now shower back here. You can use the bathroom with the doors open and it gives you privacy. So this extends what's already a huge bathroom. This extends and makes it an even bigger bathroom. So it takes two minutes. So you, you do this and then you just kind of hook them all around. And so now you have a true bathroom extension all the way around. So the KL is already known for having a big bathroom, right? So we already have the biggest bathroom out of any class B RV. I'm struggling a little bit. It's hot. The sun's in my face, you know. So we already have a big bathroom and this just makes it that much bigger. Let's see. Where does this hook? I don't even know. But all of this stuff hooks somewhere like this and it gives you this nice big, look at that. If you want to zoom out a little bit, you can see how nice this is. So you can be in here. It gives you a lot of room. But if you stand back there, you can see this is the the whole shower extension there so it gives you all the privacy you need to shower it gives you all the privacy you need to use the bathroom whatever it is you want and it, and it i mean it, it takes less than a minute to set up tear down look at that so you're there now Let's fold it my wife says i'm the worst sheet folder in the world because it's more like as long as it just fits in an area that i want it to go in it doesn't have to be like perfect does it i mean look at this that's how I fold sheets I mean that works right so then you take this apart like this you drop this here you drop this one here pull it out so now your shower extension your rear annex is done so we went from having nothing set up to having it all set up and then having it all tore down in less than two minutes so very nice extension back here Hence why they gave you hot and cold water. They gave you, I need some cold water on me right about now. But I like where you store everything. They also give you a 110 plug back here. They have a light switch. They have a 12 volt if you want a fan or if you need to plug something in 12 volt wise. It's here. You have a switch here for a light. So that light turns on, that switch turns on the light back here. So if it is dark, I do like, so you fill your water here, you drain here, you have cable hookups here. You can turn the water pump on and off right here and turn the heater on and off. And this is also where you winterize your tanks. It's all right here. So Winnebago does a great job. They give you an app where you can learn how to use all this, but our technicians will teach you how to use this whole system a lot better than I just did. They will spend time with you and teach you how to do it. Something else unique about Winnebago is they install their curtains on their back doors and then you can unzip them and now you have windows. And these are really thick and insulated, so it's nice for the heat that it insulates them but then when now they're out of the way so they're closed they're out of the way you don't have to fold them and store them like i just did that they are just here they're out of the way and when you want to use them they're there if you want to pull them down you just unzip them and they fall right down so as we're walking you really got the whole bathroom area in the beginning of this video rather than the end of the video which is what we typically do so we're gonna do things a little different today guys how's that sound so now we're gonna walk so now everything's cleaned up. Nice big bathroom, storage. You have a screen up there. You got the rear annex. You got the window coverings. Everything that you need is right here in this huge bathroom. There is also a tow hitch. So the tow hitch can tow up to 3,500 pounds. So the new ProMaster has a nine speed transmission, uh, which does help with towing. Um, it also has a ton of safety features and we'll get into more of those new safety features here in a minute. So as we're continuing to walk around, there is a big carefree 
power awning. So you press a button inside the coach, this awning comes out, the awning goes in, and there's these nice fancy LED lights on it that light up everything. I always tell a story about my wife hanging Christmas lights from our awning. That's like one of her favorite things to do when we go camping. I think Carefree of Colorado copied her idea and just included the LED lights on the awning. Um, you have two 110 plugs out here. So typically when your awning's out, this will be the area that you maybe set up a table and you can put your blender here. You can put your George Foreman grill here. You can put your fan here, whatever it is you want. But you got 110 plugs here. You have a 12 volt plug here and you have a cable, um, a cable thing here. So if you want to set an extra TV up, you can set that up here as well. So all of that is nice and discreet there. And then this is an extension so you can add more solar panels. There are solar panels on the roof, but this will give you more access to solar. So you can kind of set solar panels up over there and just run a wire and stick it here. So those solar panels will help charge your batteries. Even when your engine's not on, when your generator's not on, when you're not plugged in, the solar is charging the batteries and then you use the batteries for your fridge and your lights and for everything else that's in the coach. So, as we're continuing to walk, I know I've mentioned it a few times, I love this running board. I love how big it is, I love how strong it is. I mean, as big and as I am, I can get on here, I can jump on here, I can dance and it doesn't budge, it doesn't move. It is a very strong, so if you weigh double the amount that I weigh, I am very, very confident that you can climb in and on this running board. I also like how they brand it. Winnebago never misses an opportunity to brand something. They are good at it. Um, before we walk in, I got one more thing I'm gonna show you. This is the screen. This is the roll off, is the brand. Really high end, nice screen. So what you do, it's very easy again. You know, I like showing how easy this stuff is. You drop it, one zip, two zip. So we just went from having no screen to now there's a screen there. Bugs can't get in, animals can't get out, kids can't get out, kids can't get in if you don't want them in. I got four kids. I know all about the kids getting in and out thing. If you want to get in, there's a little hook right here. Just open it and you climb right in and you shut it behind you. When you want to get out, you just push it. Climb right out. Very nice. Let's say you don't want a screen anymore. It's another 10 seconds. One here, one there, and then we roll. So while you're rolling this, you just wanna make sure it's straight, but this is nice because it's not always there to where you gotta mess with it, but it is there when you want it. So I, I'm a big fan, just like I talked about those window coverings in the back, I'm a big fan of things being available when you want them not being available, not being in the way when you don't want them. So there you go. So now we went from no screen to a screen to now having no screen again. So let's jump in the van and I'm gonna show you why this is one of the best selling vans on the market today. Okay, right, so now we are inside the Travato. I'm inside, you're outside. I'm enjoying the air conditioner and all the space, but you can tell this is a nice big opening. So I showed you the screen a second ago. Nice big handle when you walk in, which people really like. A handy fire extinguisher, if you're ever in the need of needing a fire extinguisher, it's right there. Uh, but nice big handle, you jump in and you see lots of space. One of the things about the Travado is that it's wide open. There's no complete hanging cabinets anywhere in it that obstructs your view. People really, really like that. And if you don't notice that you like that, when you look, you see these big windows, you see these big door, like big open areas, and it just makes a small RV, which is just, I mean, this is 20 feet, 11 inches. This is a small RV. It makes it feel big. It makes it feel spacious in here. I, I mean, we have sold these RVs to people that live in them full time, no house, I mean, Scott Watson from Go Small, Live Large has a great YouTube channel, good friend of ours. He lives in his Travado. 100% of the time. He's been in it five years now. Uh, you know, Dean Savis from the Coachman Beyond Facebook group, he leads that group. He lives in his Coachman Beyond, about the same size as this, full time. These guys, they are on the road 100% of the time living in these Class B RVs. But then there's people that only use it for the weekends, or they use it on a trip here, or a long trip there, or they work out of it. They go travel somewhere, they work remote. So lots of different uses for this, you from full time, to weekend warriors, we call them. They're people that are still working. You know, we sold one the other day to a husband and wife that are still working, but 
Friday when they get off, they get in, they find somewhere to go, and they come back Sunday night. And then two weeks a year, they go on a long trip, but you know, two or three weekends a month, they are traveling in their Travano. It's cool here in Florida, you can go to the beach, east coast, west coast, you can go to the Everglades, you can go to lakes, you can go to, you know, you're a couple hours from Georgia. So there's a lot to do in this area here in a class B. And you always find more reasons when you end up getting it. Um, so very cool. Uh, we'll start in the front first and then we'll kind of work our way back. So here in the Travano, I like both of these seats do swivel around and they do swivel pretty easily. It's not hard to do it. You can even, just like I did, you can even be in it, sitting in it and swivel it around. You can be standing up and swiveling it. But what I like is that there's lots of space here. So right now, I just swiveled this from driving to now swiveling. So you have a little dinette area here. They give you this kind of cool, check this out. So look at this, now, there we go. So now I can drink my coffee. I got my fancy Sunshine State RVs mug. I can sit here, I can have a laptop here, I can have my iPad, I can drink my coffee, and I can be watching the TV behind. I can be hanging out, doing whatever it is I do, and you can do it all from up here. The other cool thing is there is a mount right here for another table. So there's two mounts in the coach. They do give you one table, so you move the table back and forth from the front to the back, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But I really like how they give you this little area here um, when you're done with it, you just kind of fold it just like this and you just slide it right back in and then you buckle it so it doesn't swing. I mean, split second. Set up the tear down within a second. So I love that, how easy that is, how they've designed, they've taken advantage of every square inch and they've given you stuff you can use. Winnebago does a phenomenal job of that, phenomenal job. So up here in this new ProMaster, so the new ProMaster has a lot of cool safety features. So a big one is a digital rear view mirror. So you, you can't always see out of the back, but you can see a video here of everything in the back. The other thing you can do is when it is in, oh, I can't put it in reverse because the seats are swiveled, but I can see what's going on behind, let's see if I can see here. You got a huge rear view camera and you see lots of other class Bs, but you have a nice big rear view camera you have nice big navigation, Apple CarPlay with satellite radio. Um, this is a charging port right here. So you put your phone on there and that is wireless charging for hands-free use. Um, I really like how open the dash is. So this, so this is a, a totally redesigned steering wheel, push button start. You have all of your other things here. There's a battery boost. So let's say your engine battery is dead. You press this button right here, it says battery boost. And then all of a sudden your engine will your 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 back batteries will uh, charge up so you can use your front batteries. So they will they will give a boost to the front batteries. Emergency brake, power windows, power locks, um, something else that's cool. This is the key. So this is push button start. So they just started doing that this year as well. All these new safety features, blind spot assist, lane changing um, warnings. It does a pre, no, post collision braking pre-collision uh, avoidance, like lots of nine speed transmission, lots of really cool, lots of really cool features. It was gonna make that annoying sound the whole time. So that's why I just turned it off. Lots of cool new features on the new ProMaster. I'm a big fan of it. And I think, and we have had a lot of people trade in their old ProMasters for this new one because how big the difference is between the two ProMasters. So I told you about this table, so very neat. So let's say we're sitting here and you're hanging out. There is a tower of power. This thing here has 110 plugs and USB ports right here. So if you wanted, you could take this Lagoon table right here. And there again, I love that YouTube gives us a timer so you can see how long this actually takes, right? So you move it here and then you put it right here and you slide it in and now we have how's up and let's lock it in place so in a total of 10 seconds we just moved the table so now i can put the laptop here um, i can also swivel this thing out here and there again let's move that let's swivel this that there 
put a little, uh, what do they call that, branding. Everyone can see the Sunshine State RVs. Now I have a whole workspace. So I got a desk here, I got one here. If I'm eating, if this person's eating, if we're both working, I can have a laptop, I can have an iPad, my phone, books, whatever it is you do, you can imagine yourself doing it from a place like this. So Winnebago is not only hitting the weekend warriors that just likes to go camping for the weekend. They're hitting the people that want to, that can live in these full time. They're also people who work remote. You know, we have hurricanes here in Florida. I know in a bunch of other states, you guys don't know what those are, but we have sold a number of these to people who do hurricane relief and insurance adjusters, um, people who volunteer at hurricane places that are hit really, really hard with hurricanes. So people take, get in their class B's, they go there and they work remote from wherever the hurricane is because they don't need facilities or water and they have everything in their van they can use this to work to sleep to shower to eat and then to go help volunteer serve uh, Samaritan's Purse is a good one that 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 really helps out some of these hard some of these places that are hit hard by hurricanes so we have we have sold these to people I know I know one family bought a coachman beyond from us and they travel around and they help and they use it as their mission and they go place to place helping people but but they don't have to get a hotel they don't have to you know stay in someone's house they can stay in their own van while they're traveling around the country helping places that really need help so very cool to know that these class b vans are making a difference as well so and then when you're done using all of this just like i've showed a hundred times you can fold that you can move this you can stand up and you can put this right back over here if you wanted and get it out of the way so now it's out of the way when you don't want to use it when you do want to use it you know what else is nice is when you're cooking. So I haven't really talked through the kitchen much, but when you are cooking, you do have an extra countertop. So you can cook here, you can be cooking, you can prepping here, cooking here, whatever it is you're doing, you can do, it gives you that much extension. So I think this area is so clutch, so clutch when it comes to how to utilize your class B van. So the kitchen comes with a nice big countertop, nice big windows. So these are what they call awning style windows to me this is a 100 percent must you must have these awning style windows if you are buying a travato if you are buying a coachman coachman nova comes standard with them winnebago travato it is an option whenever someone calls me and says oh i found a travato and it's cheaper than yours i say does it have the awning style windows well no i'm like oh forget it i don't care how cheap it is this is i mean look at this this here once you open these up you have huge windows. You have another one right here. Look at this. There you go. Another one there. We have another one here. We have another one here. The sliding door has one on it. This is huge. If you want cross ventilation, if you're in the mountains and you want to be able to see out, you want air flowing, these awning style windows are humongous. So, so important. So. Kitchen wise, they have these ram hooks, they call them. So these things here, you can hook things to it. They slide on and off. Um, you know, I always joked, I said it'd be cool if someone put like a, a like a GoPro camera right there and film themselves cooking right here. There's a mount. You can put a you can mount a GoPro camera right there and film yourself cooking in your class B RV. If somebody does that, I want a royalty on every on everyone sold. Um, another tower of power. So you have two 110 plugs and USB ports. When you want it, it's up. When you don't want it, it's down. That simple. Convection microwave, nice big drawer here, nice big drawer here. This is the, the um, cover for this. If you wanna use it, if you don't wanna use it, you can easily store it somewhere like that. Convection microwave, fridge right here fridge and freezer and then another very cool drawer they give you these little they look like chess pieces really they're magnets so pretty neat um so this is the eco hot so i i always talk about the eco hot because because i know how big of a deal it is a father of four kids two girls two boys 19 17 14 and 12 so lots of teenagers in my house um they all take showers and well most of them do the 12 year old every once in a while the other three that take showers they turn their shower on they hang out for 10 minutes and wait for it to get hot and so as we all know that costs money right i mean hot water is not free here what i love what they do is they you turn this on 
And what it does is it heats the water in the line. So that way, as soon as you turn your water on, hot water is coming out. You don't have to turn it on, wait, 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 then get hot water. You turn this on, let's say you know you need hot water in a minute. You turn it on, give it a minute, give it two minutes. It heats the water up, then you use it, then you just turn it right back off. So it, it helps you manage your water and it helps you manage your power, which are two very important things when it comes to a class B RV. So smart TV with a Bluetooth sound bar. The Bluetooth sound bar can be hooked to your phone for music. Oh, I missed all this up here. So this is what they call a one place. So this is where all of your stuff is, all of your controls. So this kind of goes to your circuits and tells you what's going on. This is where you start your generator, you stop your generator, you see your battery levels, your tank levels, you turn your water pump on and off. This is your Truma Combi. So the Truma does the hot water and the furnace, both controlled through there and through an app. This is your inverter. Um, you turn your inverter on and off here. This is where you turn your propane on and off. And this is the bat switch. It's red. I think if you press it, Batman comes. I don't really know. Uh, I'm a little scared to press the red switch. It might be an ejection for the passenger seat. I don't know what that does. Uh, maybe we'll find out for you, but it looks very official. It's red. It's not the same color as all the other ones. Um, so as we're calling it a smart TV, in here we have some plugs um, there is an hdmi cord for the tv so if you have a apple tv you can plug it in here if you have a playstation if you have um a laptop that you want to plug in hdmi you can plug your laptop in and you can see everything here there is a port right here which is super super big that winnebago does there's a port here and a port on the ceiling so if you want to hook up a wi-fi router we use this port to do it and then we mount it in here which is which is nice for people that are working uh remote you put the antennas on top you run the wires you mount the wi-fi router here you plug it in here and now you have great internet everywhere you go so we sell those in about half the rvs that we sell we sell wi-fi routers in them because people want internet so they can watch these lovely youtube channels or let's say you're camping on a sunday and you miss church and you need to watch the sermon on youtube you can watch your church online if you are missing your favorite football game and you are not going to be in town and the gators are about to beat tennessee tomorrow night please god uh you can watch the gators beat tennessee with the wi-fi router on your smart tv on espn no matter where you're at all right so these beds these nice big twin beds are what people really love about it so like i say all the time lots of space lots of movement can happen up and down i'm six foot tall i fit in here good six foot wingspan can fit good big dude i can lay in these beds very comfortable i mean very comfortable i can lay here i can sleep this is a really really comfortable bed but what's cool is they give you the option to have these be one big bed so within a matter of 10 seconds you can there we go put this here put that there there's one more cushion that's stored under here now you have one big king size bed you can make the bed you can leave it made up um, a lot of people like the twin beds but in the event you do want to have it be one big bed you do have that option as well so I like how Winnebago gives you that very easy. You just slide it and use it. You know, what's cool about a company like Winnebago, they have a great app um, for all of their Class Bs. So the Solus, the Travato, the Era, the Revel, all of their, their whole Class B line, there's an app. And so on the app, it shows you how to work everything, like how to make that bed. The app shows you how to dump, how to use the fridge, how to turn the generator on. And they have apps for all of their B vans that, that, that will help you. And they're little short one minute videos they're not as long as this video. It's not me doing it. I don't know how to do a one minute video, but it's short videos that really show you how to use everything on these vans. And you know, we give you tech support. So part of buying from Sunshine State RVs is no matter where you live in the country, we give you tech support on the phone that helps you through any issues you have. Then we also hook you up with the closest dealership to you for service. If you buy from us and you live within 100 miles, we pick up your RV, we bring it to our dealership, we service it within five days. We give you a guarantee service appointment within five days. Nobody else in the country does that. That is something that I had, it's a patent pending, the five day service guarantee. Um, what else is cool about this? Well, here's that extra cushion that I mentioned a minute ago. So there's that extra cushion. 
Look at all the storage. This is how you can end up living in here because you have lots of extra storage underneath. You lift it up, tons of storage there, tons of storage there. And when you need it, it's there. When you don't need it, it's not there. So it comes up and down very easily. This side here lifts up as well. There's a little bit of storage, but this is where the sliding bed thing is. So you really don't want to open that too much. There are some 110 plugs here. Another, pa you know, this is pretty neat. So this is where people store their cell phones at night, I think, and then they can charge them. Um, this is where people put things that maybe help them keep safe, at, feel safe at night. Uh, flashlights, all different types of things. But there's little packets on both, one here, one there. Um, there are plugs in these. So here's your solar controller. Nice big storage there. Nice big storage here as well. Storage here. Oh, this is pretty neat. So this is a Luno bed. So this bed goes across the front two uh, seats there to give you a, a second or third sleeping situation. So lots of cool um, features in this Winnebago. I, you know, Winnebago sells more than anybody else. And Winnebago's come up with this thing called a Flying W program. Um, one of, one of the, there's a lot of criteria that you have to meet to be a Flying W dealer. There's, there's like 20 Winnebago dealers in Florida and only two of them have gotten the Flying W award this year. Us being one of them and some other dealership, but only about 10% of the Winnebago dealers end up getting the Flying W award. And every year we've been a Winnebago dealer we have gotten the Flying W Award. We're very proud of that. We work very hard to make sure our customers are happy, to make sure that they're educated, to make sure they get the best RV, they get a great deal, free delivery anywhere in the country. So anything we can do to help out is what we do. But having that Flying W Award separates us from every other Winnebago dealer in the country because you know you're gonna get the best service possible from Sunshine State RVs. I, guarantee it the best service possible are things gonna be perfect all the time no but are we going to do whatever we can to make sure they're as good as possible yes that's our promise to you so this is the Travato K this is the brand new 2024 just came out new chassis new features new functions new everything and I love it I don't know if you can tell by watching this two hour long video I love this thing. I think you're going to love it. Lots of cool things. I'm sure I missed some things. So if you have any questions or want me to show something, please comment on the video on the box below. But check us out, sunshinestaterves.com. We will deliver free anywhere in the country. And I really appreciate you watching this video and all of the other videos that we do. Thank you.